watching my April favorites video. Um, I'm really excited about filming this. I've loved a lot of products in the past month, and yeah, I'm excited to share those with you. So let's get started. First product that I've really been liking is a blush, and it's in the color Haute Pink. Here it is. And it's a Revlon blush. Um, the color payoff for this is awesome. I don't know if you can see this. I think it's just amazing. Um, I try not to put too much on my brushes because there is a lot of pigmentation on there and it can make you look a little Barbie pinky. Um, but I really like this. I think it's a really nice spring color and I think it would suit pretty much any skin tone. Uh, it's a very nice color for spring and I love it. The next product that I have is also a powder and it's a bronzer. It's the Honey Bronze from The Body Shop. I have the color 01 which is, which is actually their lightest shade. Um, I like everything about this product. I like the packaging. I think it's very nice looking. I love that it has a nice size mirror in there. I also really like the print the, that's on the, the actual bronzer. It's a honeycomb, honeycomb print. Uh, I think it's really nice. And it's not too orange. It's just the right kind of ashiness uh, to give you nice bronzy color. And yeah, it's really great for fair skins. Uh, and it's not too much. You don't have to put a lot on your brush. You just go go to town with this and it's awesome. The next product that I really like is a foundation and it's the Amazonian Clay Foundation from Tarte. It's their 12 hour full coverage foundation and it has SPF 15 in there which is great. Um, the sun is slowly starting to show itself in here in Canada so that's awesome. And it is also oil-free makeup, which is great for people who have combination oily skin like me. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I love this because it does have a fuller coverage. Uh, I bought this a couple weeks ago because I was in my finals and at school and I needed something that had a fuller coverage because I was starting to break out from all the stress. So I got this at Sephora and yeah, it's, it's just awesome. It does what it says on the packaging. And the packaging itself is also very cute. It's an all-around really good product. The next thing I'm really excited about is a mascara that I bought recently. And here's the brush. I don't know if you can see. It's a very thin brush. And it's not uh, fiber bristles. It's actually plastic. Which is very strange for me because I usually go for the um, fiber brushes. And I go for the fuller ones, not the really thin ones. I also don't usually go for waterproof mascara, but this this one I decided to try, and it's the L'Oreal Shocking Extensions Mascara, uh, the telescopic one. Uh, yeah, it's really good. I have the color black, and I've been really liking it. The only thing with this that I'm not really used to is having to use a better eye makeup remover than what I usually use, which is Bioderma. Um, you do definitely need something that has a little bit more of an oily texture to really break down the mascara. And for that, I've been using up, because this is empty, uh, I've been using the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover, and it's awesome. I love it. Uh, first of all, the smell it smells really good. I feel like whatever you're going to have to put on your face should smell good or should not smell at all. It shouldn't smell bad. Um, and this definitely smells good. It doesn't leave a really oily film on your skin. And yeah, I've been really enjoying add adding this to my nighttime routine when I take off my makeup. It's really great. The next item that I have in here is actually a brow product. And it's the Benefits Gimme Brow Gel. Um, I have the color Medium Deep because I do have very dark eyebrows. Um, I've been really liking this. I feel like it just sets them in place. It fills out any sparse area that you may have um, in your brows. And I don't know, it's just been really good. It's kind of a... It's also kind of a really good lazy day product because you don't really have to do much with it. You just pass through your brushes with the brush and it's, it's just awesome. Uh, the next product that I've been really liking is the Deborah Lippmann Nail Polish in the color Blue Orchid, which is here. It's the color I have on my nails right now, if you can see. I really like it. It's a very crisp color. I feel like it's a nice, cool tone, pastel-y color. 
it's great for spring. It's it's really on trend. I've seen this going around on, in, on the internet for a while. I just figured I need a new spring nail polish. This is totally the one I'm going for. It is on the pricier side of nail polishes, uh, obviously. It's Deborah Lippmann, but they have really good color payoff. It's very good pigmentation, and I, I just feel like it's a very nice nail polish overall. So that's really good. Uh, and the last product that, that I've been really loving this month and enjoyed reusing because it is a fragrance and it's the Chloe fragrance right here. Um, this is a fragrance I take out of my collection every single spring. I just think it sets the mood for for springtime, for sun to, coming out and stuff like that. Uh, I just think it's a very nice floral light and crisp scent. It's It's just amazing and it's by far probably my favorite fragrance ever. It's I, I love it. I don't usually wear it a lot in the winter time. Uh, here in Canada it's pretty cold. Usually in the winter I like to go for um, scents that are a little more musky, uh, spicier I guess, not as florally. Uh, but this I always love getting out when it's springtime. I think it's a really nice spring fragrance and I love it. So that's all for my April favorites. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel. I'm hopefully going to be making more videos uh, as time goes by. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm going to leave uh, links to all the products that I mentioned in the description box down below. Leave me comments, what kind of videos you'd like me to do, uh, things you might like to see. Um, I've been thinking of doing a uh, what's in my bag video, I just love watching those kinds of videos so I figured I'd do one. Uh, yeah, so just leave me your suggestions down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!